Well, praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will be glad and rejoice in it. Thank you so much for joining my channel today. I hope you are having a fabulous day. Listen, I want to come to you really quick. I'm going to come to you with um, a topic on um, depression, sadness, loneliness. Um, there is a lot going on in the world and a lot of people are struggling uh, mentally with mental health things okay and I just want you to know just to be encouraged that you are not alone there is help out there you know if you're if you feel like your um, depression is overwhelming um, I encourage you uh, to seek counsel okay um, there is safety in the multitude of counsel okay in the multitude of counsel that's what the word of God says there's safety in that so it's nothing wrong with you going and seeking help if you need it. But I want to speak with you today because everything that we need concerning life and godliness is found in the word of God. And so um, I want to come to you today about what the word of God says about some of this stuff, you know, because I want you to get that if you think something, it can either positively or negatively impact how you feel and then how you behave, okay? So your thoughts can impact your feelings, which impact your behavior. And so if you are thinking negatively, then chances are you're gonna start feeling bad, okay? All right, and so then after that, your behavior follows. You're not getting out the bed. You're not um, engaging in things that you used to enjoy. Um, it all connects. And so the Bible tells us that this mind that be in Christ Jesus also be in us. And so if you are filled with his spirit, you have the mind of Christ. It's in you. You just got to encourage it. You got to encourage those thoughts, okay? So you have Christ's mind, but you have to sort of activate it. And how do we activate it? Through his word. Because his word is true, okay? So if you have the mind of Christ, you got to activate that mind through speaking his word over your situations. We must bring every thought into captivity right and examine every thought to see if it's of God so the Bible tells us in Philippians 4 and 8 what we should do how we should do this how we should think okay and it says finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. So you see, the Bible tells us what we should be thinking on because all of these things bring us peace. If we think on these things, if we think on honest things, pure things, good reports, that gives us peace, right? It decreases our anxiousness, right? Because we're thinking positive thoughts. We're thinking what the word of God says. And there's nothing negative about the word of God, right? And so the things that we need pertaining to life and godliness are in the word of God. So if the Bible tells us to think on these things that are honest, pure, good, report, lovely, <clears throat> chances are, when we think of those things, when we think on those things, our feelings are going to be more pleasant, right? And then our behavior is going to follow. We're going to do things, uh, pleasant things. We're going to engage in social activity with, with friends and family. We're going to want to get out of the bed and start our day. We're going to be able to say that this is the day that the Lord has made. I will be glad and rejoice in it when we get up, right? So I challenge you. To begin to think on things that are lovely, things that are pure, 
things that are honest and of good report. Because that is what God wants us to think on. Yes, I know that times are hard and we are going through some things. I'm not discounting it. But the Bible also says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers them from, uh, delivers us from them all, right? And so if we have a God who is able to deliver us and who has given us through his word what we should think on, we have no reason to be overcome with sadness and depression, right? We have no reason to be down and out because the Bible tells us we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. He gives us our strength, right? And that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are made in the image of Christ. We have no reason to doubt ourselves. If this mind that be in Christ Jesus, be in you, you have more than what you need to make it through. So God bless you. I encourage you to think on things today that are lovely, pure, honest, and see. Make it a practice. Do it daily and see how God moves in your life. May God bless you and keep you and more grace be to you in peace. Amen.